Hello, this is the Covenant of the Ark. It's a brand new city-state constitution. This is completely legal under the Declaration of Independence, and it is a voluntary system, so it is opt-in. This um, here is the property rights. Only archaeology residents can own property after, after you're accepted into the system, and the landlord contracts are prohibited, so there are no landlords. There is a UBI system, starts at age 10 at $60. It increases into retirement until $780 a month. There, it is funded by an electricity tax, a sin or point of sale tax on dairy, meat, and recreational drugs, a progressive property tax, and a progressive child tax to combat overpopulation. There is a disability system for serious disabilities only, and there is a maternity bonus for when a woman has a child. This lasts. This is an addition to your universal basic income, and it lasts until the child is two years old. The executive branch is a hexarchy, a rule by six. The hexarchy determines the specific tax rates, public projects, and social contract changes to be voted on by a direct democracy system. It also appoints many positions. The executive so this is the direct democracy system it is annual and it approves or vetoes the suggestions by the hexarchy by the executive the attacks in ubi rate changes requires a two-thirds majority large public projects which is a one-time fee requires a two-thirds majority and then altering this contract which is the constitution or the law requires a five-sixths majority. Here is the additional details about the hexarchy. They have a uh, weighted vote system based on how well they do in the previous election. So first place has um, three vo uh, weight, uh, vote weight of three, second and third have a vote weight of two, and then fourth, fifth, and sixth have a vote weight of one. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully this will prevent the formation of political parties, but I can't quite guarantee that. Moving on to large public projects, it's a one-time fee based on how many square feet of real estate the given individual owns. Then there's a charity market, which is a tax on your taxes, and you vote for where your funds go. The less people that vote, the lower the charity market tax rate is. So you can just pause and read that more. Then moving on to the next page, there is a development council, which is engineers. There is an artistic council, which is artists. And there's an immigration council to be elected into the, not elected, but selected into the system. All of these are appointed by the hexarchy, by the executive. There's a criminal court system, which is your basic, uh, common law, you know, right or wrong, stuff like that. Um, the only the the only drugs are cannabis, alcohol, and magic mushrooms. All other drugs have up to three months imprisonment, which I think is pretty light. And this is just for like drug dealers. Users will probably get like, you know, two to four weeks or something. Contractual court is civil court, pretty basic. This is not too much different than what we're used to. A panarchist constitution is a military alliance. That's a whole different video. There's a military alliance between the city-states. Here's another important one, the coin voting system. Instead of using paper ballots, we use metallic coins. And then we weigh the coins and divide by 2.5 grams. Specifically dimes. Specifically... Uh, you specifically dimes, and then it's so easy. You can weigh up to 80,000 dimes at a time using a surprisingly accurate scale that I've looked up. The budget is public. So the budget is um, published four times per year, every three months, and it tells you all kinds of great facts, great statistics. Moving on to the last page, we have abortion and the age of consent. Abortion is legal up to nine weeks after conception. And then the age of consent is 20 years old, unless you're a teenager. 
and then it's within four years. So for employment, the age of consent is 10 years old. Your UBI also starts at 10 years old. So that's pretty much like <laughs> sort of the, uh, you could potentially in this society, we could allow 10 year olds to get their own apartment, to afford their own apartment. And I think that would be really interesting. I think that would be revolutionary. I think we don't give, uh, we don't give young people enough credit. I mean, think about it in today's society, people are starting their lives at like 30 years old or 40 years old. It's terrible. It, their whole, your whole, uh, childhood is, is ruined with school and bills. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting way off track. So this is just about your hexagon construction development and sale. This is kind of like legalese, except it's not terrible legalese, but it's still legalese. The transportation infrastructure, this tells you about different road systems and roundabouts. The sociopath court, this is important. This is ostracizing sociopaths, people who are uh, serial harassers. You can just pause that and read it. It's trial by jury, and uh, the f if you get convicted, the first offense is only six months therapy. And then the second offense within a three-year window makes you eligible for removal. You don't necessarily get removed, but you're eligible to be removed. Then we have a residence arrest. This one's also important and very libertarian. Anyone violating this contract can be arrested by any resident at any time. And it creates something called the people's court, which is a jury. And, um, they try and convict the arrested government employee. It can be an official or an employee and failure to convict the contract employee or government employee in question results in the imprisonment of the residents who made the arrest and the prosecution team of the case for three years. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you know that these people are guilty and the jury is selected by random number generators. Very interesting. A libertarian economy. This is um, no fiat money. We only use gold, silver, Bitcoin, barter, or other cryptocurrency for trade. And then there is no public school, which keeps our property taxes very, very low. <laughs> and any taxation of our college's residents, excluding the Article 3 tax structure, is strictly illegal. The Article 3 is uh, the UBI and electricity and sin and all that stuff. So a very libertarian society. And then finally wrapping up, we have the last article, be excellent to each other. The success of any society is determined most of all by its participants, honor, integrity, kindness, and overall good character will be the deciding factor in our college's quality, longevity, and prosperity. We have the unique opportunity to start from scratch. Don't let the slow creep of evil overshadow the good, which we all strive to create together. So that is not any law. That's not any policy. It's just something to remember, kind of a mission statement, uh, something positive to leave you all with. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of this city state constitution. Remember, this is local. This is small. This is doable with anywhere between uh, I would say 1000 people at minimum. And a lot of my examples use 25,000 people and the city designs that you see are 144,000 people. So this is a whole range of small local townships, really as little as a thousand people, you could be part of this society and it could be functioning. Um, hopefully if we only have a thousand people, we might not have any, um, we might not have enough businesses to really anchor ourselves financially. And the UBI could bankrupt a smaller, <laughs> a smaller, uh, incorporation of this document, but hopefully that doesn't happen. And if it does, well, we can just lower the UBI until we're financially secure. Anyway, that's it for this overview of this constitution. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're really fascinated by it. 
go you can go ahead and pause at any time during the video and just read it yourself you saw pretty much all of the text and with that said remember that a single dream is more powerful than 1000 realities